one and two. One. Two pentagon screws. This part, but I'm gonna warm up the whole uh, frame here, so it's gonna be easier for me to just go under with one of these tools, this one or this one, or similar tools. I will go under and then try to go first on this side where there is no flat cables and then carefully on that side where there are cables and therefore my spudger does not need to go in too far okay so let's just keep the spudger on the edge and try to lift the display that way and also be careful up here because there's uh, some clips that we don't want to break using a spudger in the wrong way. Okay, so let's heat this part up. until it's uncomfortable to touch. Okay, you can go under there. Yeah, pretty easy, so this one is not an original screen because it comes up very, very easy. Okay, right. There's not even a glue or some uh, sort of adhesive to make it waterproof. It's easier this way, but it's not the way it should be done. But anyway, I'm going to do it the same way. So I'm going to slide this pick here, just like so. And on the other side, just like so. Be careful here because the, there's lots of ribbon cables. But this screen comes up pretty easily. It's not being glued. So remember, do not tilt the screen too far up. Just give, give it this tilt and then start working around it. Because Okay, now it's coming up. I lower it down like so. There is some leftover glue here, but I think it's the old glue. It's not the one from this display. All right, so now I'm just gonna lift it up this way like a book. Let's check for cables down here. All right. This is not a cable, it's just some adhesive tape. Okay. All right. Now it's opened up like a book. And this is what we want, so we need to be careful now not to rip these cables. So I'm gonna lay them down, as you see, on this magnetic mat. In, a, in a, an ordering fashion, so I know where each screws go. So, for example, this would be the upper part of the phone and this is the lower part of the phone. So I put this in the wrong place. So I'm just gonna move this here and then I'm gonna proceed with all of the rest. So I'm gonna sort of design a pattern uh, equal to this one. 
so I know pretty much where they should go. See? And put it right there. All right. <clears throat> which is this one here. There you go. Now battery is disconnected. Okay. Now we, if you just want to replace the battery, we the display cables. So this one, always use a plastic spudger like this. Do not use metal um, tools when you go and touch connectors like this because you may short short circuit the logic board so use tool use plastic or wood anyway. so one part is disconnected now we need to uh, disconnect the camera unit from the logic board to do that we need to remove the screws of this bracket here. And this one here. This is for the camera unit. So I'm going to remove the bracket. This one here. Put it at There you go. And now display unit is totally disconnected. Right. And we take the bracket out just like so. Easy. Pushed against the frame and lift this up. Let's see if I can. All right, there you go. Hope you've seen it. Let's see, let me zoom in a little bit. So basically, this plug this cable folds over to its socket and it's all glued to the frame so be careful when you need to disconnect this plug to its socket not to tear this apart all right now we've disconnected the touch ID That's enough. So let's try and let's do it. Maybe I should modify this toothpick and there you are. So maybe now, since this is pretty hot, we could go under here. Hope you can see this, but just go under and try to lift it up just like so. Yeah, it's coming out pretty good. All right. Hope you can see this. Yeah. Right. 
there we are. And now if I pop this, I cannot pop it because there is this tape that I put on initially on the screen. So I'm just going to remove the tape. Now I should be able to just pop it up like so. There you go. Okay, let's put that aside as well. And let's continue by removing the, the camera, the front facing camera unit. bracket. Good. Now the camera here can be lifted away just like so. Watch the cable here, Watch the ribbon cable. And now we need to remove this speaker. One. speaker is removed. Excellent. Now we need to remove the ambient sensor, which is right here. I'll try to use again my trusty toothpick to lift it off from under here. Yeah, it's working. And now I could just heat, use the heat gun to heat this up a little bit, but I'm just not gonna try and see if I can do it without Now I just need to take the shield, this metal shield, off of this display and put it in here, okay? This needs to be a little bit better placed, like so. And this goes like that. So again, let's put this here, like so. Have this cable to be within the edge. Uh, this metal shield. Now we should be good to go. Okay, so. Okay, now let's remove this blue film. Good. So we have an adhesive. We have an adhesive surface, sticky surface for our camera unit so I'm just gonna use the tweezers because so you can see 
Yeah. There's two posts where this camera unit goes. You see there's two holes, one and two. And these two holes go into two posts, right there, plastic posts. Right. Once that part of the unit is aligned with the two posts, then okay. Now it's sitting properly, and I can stick this in. Now let's put this bracket to hold the whole unit in place. It has to slide just under there, just like so. Right where the posts are. See? There. This back in just like just like so. Yeah, it's plugged in. All right, as easy as it looks, right there. Now, one by one, we're going to place the screws. All right, this is good. Okay, now to remove the battery. You could do it um, once you take the screen off, but even without taking the screen off, as long as you disconnect this cable. But to be on the safe side, what I want to do is I want to remove the Taptic engine. So uh, I grab my Philip screwdriver and screw this one and this one screw, and I remove. this part here which is the barometric vent okay remove it and then i'm going to remove this screws that hold the toptic engine in place Taptic engine. Just like so. Now we have some more room here to take and to pull these tabs to remove the batteries. One. 
this is funny stuff because they stretch enormously. So go as flat as possible. Go slowly. Don't pull it too hard. All right. Not to worry. Still have it there. Yeah. This stretch is a long, long way. Okay, that's one. Let's do the other now. Now I put a hand on over the battery without pressing on it because you know I don't want to fuck. This is not good. Right. Good. Now let's put back the taptic engine. Now let's replace this. Actually, let's first plug the taptic engine into its socket. Always I cannot show it on camera. But there you go. The quick it's sitting firmly right so now this one here click and okay now I'm sure back in here just like so Quite tight, and let's let's place this shield here. Actually, we need now to engage the battery to plug in the battery cable, just like so. Yeah. 
clips that go under the, the lip of the frame. So we just close it, stay a little bit low, okay, get those clips in the lip and then close it. All right. Now, since I didn't put any glue around the frame, these are of paramount importance. They have, they have to be fastened up and secure because these are the only thing that keeps the display from not popping out in case of a fall or something similar. All right, so now this should be working. Yeah, it works.